Hello, hello, hello. I hope you can hear me. I'm actually stood in the middle of London Bridge Station having just met some lovely vibers and I wanted to talk today about feeling the love. Now I know that last week was um, Valentine's Day and we were talking about feeling the love but one of the things that I've realized about myself, especially being more extrovert, is that I really thrive off the energy of people. Even standing here and doing this video with people walking around and walking through, I'm stood by this post, see? Um, even standing here and feeling the energy of other people really vibes me. But it's important that if you're on the opposite end of the spectrum, if you're introvert and that you get recharged or you can recharge your own batteries by sitting and being alone and writing, that you don't see that as worse than or not as good as. Because in the visibility work, as you know I do, people will often say to me, oh, but I'm introverted, so I can't do this. Or, you know, um, I'm extroverted, so I'm too loud. And they try and dim their lights. But today, um, quite a few weeks back now, I had put out something in the Visibility Vibes Tribe about a meetup. And a number of people came back and said, yes, we can meet. Now, here's the thing. Honestly, when people organize events or parties and things like that, one of the biggest secret fears is that nobody will show up. So being comfortable in my own skin means doing the thing regardless of who shows up. Being comfortable in my own skin means getting the people together regardless of what happens. And a number of people for very different reasons, as we got closer to the date, couldn't make it. I'm not about to guilt people that they should have come or you know they should have done anything but what did happen was I was able to meet up with somebody that I hadn't actually met in the flesh but I'd seen a lot online and we'd spoken a lot online and somebody who I'd actually met before in the flesh numerous times and connected with and stayed connected with online there were three of us but what a juicy time we got to spend together we got to catch up, we got to talk about our news, we got to share some secrets, which was really good. So what I'm saying to you is today, know where to go to feel the love, whether it's a room full of people or um, a quiet space, whether it's in front of a video camera or it is somewhere that is, you know, different and more solitude, whether it's knows in a library looking at books or whether it's out at a party or a club know where to go to feel the love because when you know where to go to feel the love you can go there either to pep yourself up or to top yourself up or to keep on zinging that's it i'm going to go and get my train um, and i'd like to know where is it that you go to what is it that you see that feels the love how has you feel the love um, some of the places I love to go to is I love the beach even in the winter I love going to woodlands and wooded areas and um, one of the my lovely friends on here Katie Robinson will tell you all about forest bathing and why that's so great for you but there's so many different things we can do to feel the love so make sure that you tap into that to keep yourself consistently going whenever you need to to top yourself up or just to feel better anyway that's it bye for now thank you for watching